Hi, my name is Louise Boylan and I teach Maths and Applied Maths here at the Institute of Education on Leeson Street. I'm going to talk to you about how I approach teaching of maths. The first thing is, when I'm teaching, I don't use a textbook. I use my own notes, so my notes are customised and styled to my own style of teaching, but also the order in which I want to approach topics. And that's really important because it allows me to teach in the way that I want to teach, which is primarily in a spiral learning approach. If we might meet a topic and maybe meet it a little bit first, then we might move on to something new and then later on we'll come back and we'll meet that topic again. So the first time we met it, it was brand new and we'll cover it to a certain amount. Then we'll meet it again. Now it's becoming kind of revision for the second time. Then later on we might meet it again, but now it's embedded, now it's natural. Students don't really have to think about it now. Oh yeah, we've seen that before. We've seen that many times before. And various parts of the course really allow for that to happen because our course is so interlinked and it's so interwoven. When I teach my classes, I do not teach in a lecture fashion. They are working classes. The students are busy. They're all out there working, working, working. I may go up, I'll talk about a concept, we'll discuss the concept, we'll have a bit of to and fro discussing it and look at an example or two and then it's heads down, down to work and I'm walking around, I'm looking over the shoulders, how are you getting on, let me see what you're doing there and so on, right? So I get to know my students really well. I also make sure to do all the solutions on the board so that in case there's anybody who was a little bit stuck but didn't like to ask, as there are many, that they still have an opportunity to see the solution done. And all our classes are recorded as well, so it means that the students can go back and re-watch a class at any time and look at a solution again at any time. Personally, I don't give a lot of homework because I want to see the students working in class in front of me. I give them a little bit of homework, we correct it at the start of the next class and then we're into the next thing. That also allows them time to do regular revision and regular revision is so important with math. You start by getting those basics bedded in, then you build and you build and you build and you're constantly practicing. Then we have regular assessments and assessments are hugely important. First of all, to give a focus for the students so that they can say, right, I need to know these three chapters for my test next Monday. Also for them to be able to be aware of like where their shortcomings might be. Okay, I didn't do great in that one. I might have to go back over and learn my theorems again, or maybe I, I need to go back and revise how to solve cubics or whatever it might be. Okay, so it allows them to find their own areas of weakness. And as I say, they have all the, the materials they need then to go back and work on those things. When I write my assessments, I write them all in the Leaving Cert Certificate style. The exam papers are formatted to look like Leaving Certificate papers. They fill them in on the exam. I write the marking schemes in line with the Leaving Certificate. So my students are very aware from the start of what's expected of them in an exam. By the end of the two years with me, my students can mark the exams themselves, right? From very early on, they can. They know the marking schemes inside out and upside down. And that is so important. And that's from the get go, right? So every assessment I give them, they have Leave Insert style marking scheme to go with them so that, that they can uh, be familiar with what's going on. So they're learning their content, they're revising their content, we're doing regular assessments to see where we might need to do a little bit of extra work, and we're understanding how the exam is marked, which is absolutely vital to success. 